Hi, my name is J.D. Jeffrey. I'm the museum curator at the Windermere Valley Museum, and this is a Windermere history short. Today we're going to talk about the Stolen Church and its little adventure in our Columbia Valley as we speak. The church itself was built in 1887 in a little town of Donald that's northwest of here, which is um, near Golden. And when the CPR was building and finally finished, it was considered um, the first division point going into the Rockies. And they had created a huge community. People lived there, they had church there, um, had lots of commerce, and the church that was built there was called St. Peter's. It was an Anglican church, and they had lots of people who attended it there as well. After the building was built, the community actually had to be moved. The CPR decided to change their division point to Revelstoke. And through their obligation, they decided to uh, move all the residents, pe people and houses, all at the same time. So over a number of years, they turned around and they packed up all the buildings, sent them by rail to Revelstoke and reset them up. Some people, though, chose not to go to Revelstoke, and there they decided to come down here into the Windermere Valley. So one family that chose to do that was the Kimptons, both Rufus and Selena, uh, with their brother and sister-in-laws. They basically packed up their house, took it apart piece by piece, put it on uh, the steamboats that were in the area from Golden down to, to Windermere and reassembled them. During that time, Selena was having a tough time letting go of the move or letting go of her church because she was married there, her two children were baptized there, her first child actually was buried in the cemetery up there, and most of her volunteer efforts were, were conducted in the church. So she was very distraught that she couldn't be with her church. So she convinced her husband, Mr. Kimpton, to literally steal the church. And it ended up that Mr. Kimpton and his brother-in-law actually went up to, to Donald, took apart the church piece by piece, sent it over to Golden by railway. At Golden, they had to send it down by steamboat, like all their houses. The bell actually has its own little story, which is it was a 600 tone, silver tone bell that was given to them. And it was one of the best parts of the church. So the church came down, Mr. Kimpton assembled it with his brother-in-law, put it all together and realized the bell was missing. The fun part about the whole story, once it was all set up, was they realized that the bell was gone, so they started writing to Golden. They realized that's where it was taken from, and the people there um, wrote back saying, that's fine, you can't have your bell, because how did you get the bell? By stealing the church, of course. In the meantime, people in Revelstoke who were promised the church had turned around and started writing the Kimptons and saying, we want our church back. This is a very prestigious church, we want it back. And the Kimptons would never write back to Revelstoke. So the outcome was we never got our bell and the Revelstoke people figured that we were illiterate because we weren't writing back. And in the end, Selena got her, her church, and to this day, it still stands. It's still used in Windermere in July and August for services, and you can go visit it anytime you want. I'm J.D. Jeffrey, and this has been a Windermere History Short.